Hey guys, Tony Rush here. Quick video today on a concept that for whatever reason is not taught a whole lot in network marketing. Uh, and it's key to understanding what areas of your marketing you need to uh, put some attention on. And I'll give you a quick example. Let me kind of set the table with this. Let's say you're talking to somebody in your downline, um, or, or maybe it's you, and the, the statement that's made is sort of this broad and general, um, I'm just not making money in my business, or I'm just not enrolling a lot of people in my business. Uh, or I'm just not getting results, right? So it's this broad and general kind of thing, and it can be really, really frustrating. When I was in that situation, it was totally frustrating because it's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do to get some results. Well, when you understand that an enrollment or a sale is actually, there's a science to it. It's not really necessarily an art. There are some aspects of it that could be an art, I guess. But it's a science. There's certain steps that each person goes through to create a sale or an enrollment. And if you understand each one of these steps, then you can easily see what's blocking. You know, what, what in the process is, uh, where's the bottleneck, so to speak. So let me draw this out for you real quick, and I think this will make some good sense to you. It's like a series of funnels. So let's say our first funnel here is simply uh, the number of leads you have. Okay? Just number of people that they can come in from uh, newspaper, websites, blogs, opt-ins, purchased leads, whatever. But let's just say this is the pool that you start with, number of people. Okay. From there, we go to, this will be the number of people that you actually speak with. All right. From there, we go to another funnel. This would be the number of people you invite to some kind of a presentation, webinar, conference call, whatever you use. All right, from here, we've got, this would be the number of people who actually attend. Okay, we'll put info, conference call, webinar, whatever. From there, you've got the number of people that you follow up with. I'll just put follow up, and then this goes to the number of people that you enroll. My handwriting's horrible, right? All right, so this is a constant. If you look at this like a series of funnels, and we'll use water as an analogy, the idea is that if you pour water in the top, enough of it, now you've got to have enough of it, right? We'll talk about that in a second. But if you pour enough water in the top, water should flow fairly unobstructed through this entire machine which is what it is, okay? You put people on the top, commissions come out the bottom. It's a machine. Well, when you're talking to somebody, or maybe if it's you, if you, if you encounter somebody that kind of has that broad kind of comment, well, I'm just not making money in my business. Really, what's wrong? I don't know what's wrong. I just, I'm just not getting enrollments. Well, you can ask some questions, and you can easily see how each one of these funnels corresponds to what you're actually doing in each part of the process. So let's take a look. Let's say I'm talking to this person. They say, well, I'm just not making money. Say, well, let's just kind of start at the top. How many leads are you generating? And let's say the answer they give me is 100. Okay? That's a great number. All right, so uh, well, how many people would you say you're speaking to? They say, well, I'm probably speaking to, uh, to 20 people. All right. Now, using the analogy again of water, if you put 100 ounces of water in the top funnel and you've only got 20 ounces going to the second funnel, you've obviously got a blockage here. So what does this correspond to in the actual process of enrolling somebody? Well, you could ask questions like, when are you calling? How many times are you calling your list? Um, what are you saying when you leave a voicemail? Uh, do you have the language to put on a voicemail message so that when people get your message, they're actually excited to call you back? Um, what times of day? What time zones? You know, if you're talking, to, if you call somebody at three o'clock on Tuesday and you don't get them, call them tomorrow at three o'clock on Wednesday at three o'clock. Probably not going to get them either. Are you calling on Saturdays? So there's a lot of questions you can ask, and once you identify what the problem is, we can get this number up from 20 to something a lot more effective, like say 60. Okay, so that could be an example. But let's say then uh, we talk to somebody and they say, oh, "Well, I got about 100 leads. I speak to about 60 of them, um, but as far as invitations, you know, I'm only inviting 
about 10 people to look at the business. Well, again, blockage, right? We go from 60 all the way down to 10. I mean, we'd like that number. Now, we know. Let me, let me take a little sidebar here. We know that not everybody's going to get an invitation. Some people are looking for something for nothing. Some people are working for, they're looking for a work-at-home job. Um, some people are jerks. You just don't want to work with them. So it's natural that this number is not going to carry all the way down. You're not going to invite all 60 people to a presentation, probably. But we would like this number to look something like this, right? Because generally speaking, if your marketing is good, you're not going to run across a lot of tire kickers. You'll run across a few. But we want to see these numbers out of, as a comparison. If you speak to 60 people, you know, we want to see at least 40 of those people, 30 on the low end, at least going and taking a look at the business. You know, so here, if somebody says, yeah, I'm only, I'm only uh, putting 10 people in front of the business, now we can have some conversations with that person like, well, what's happening in the prospecting conversation? You know, are they dumping you? Are you really disqualifying people that hard? Um, are you coming across as pushy? Are you being salesy? Right? So there's all kinds of questions we can ask to find out why there's a blockage between here and here. And it goes all the way down. You know, let's say we, let's say that number's 40. And, um, how many people attend the presentation? You know, if somebody's having a big trouble with no-shows, they say, yeah, I invited 40 people to the call, but only 10 people went. Well, that's an aspect of the conversation. You can put hooks in your conversation that cause people to actually follow through on what they say they're going to do. There will be a few people that don't have integrity and won't show up. <clears throat> Excuse me. But generally speaking, you can go from 40 here to how many people attend, uh, 25 to 30. Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't want to cough in your ear. All right, so whatever that number is. And then how many you follow up with? Let's say that you have um, <clears throat> 25 people that go to the presentation and you're having a conversation with this person. And they say, yeah, I, got, I mean, I don't have any trouble with leads. I can get people to go to the presentation call. You know, I looked. I had 25 people on the webinar last night. I'm following up with about three people. Okay. Once again, it's all about finding the blockages in the machine, right? So from here you can see, well, something's happening between here and here. And so we can put, again, some hooks in the conversation up here that cause people to want to call you back after the presentation so we can get this number up to something, you know, say, say 10 to 12. And then that's how many you're actually following up with. And then now all of a sudden you've got a situation where, you know, you're enrolling uh, say anywhere from three to you know what well, let's let's be a little more conservative let's say you're enrolling anywhere from three to seven people okay now some people might look at that and say wow you know only a three three per three to seven people out of a hundred that's that's kind of a low percentage but if you look at it we only ever spoke to sixty and we decided that only forty people were actually going to go to the presentation so in this scenario enrolling three to seven people out of and twenty five only went. So enrolling three to seven people of people who actually got the information, those aren't bad numbers. That's not a bad week. It's not a bad month. So uh, if you understand this, this is a great diagnostic tool. And uh, there'll be a PDF file that we'll send you on this so that you can refer to it regularly. Uh, and it uh, will include also the corresponding process for uh, you know what's what. From This is your marketing. This is your prospecting conversation here. This is you know, the hooks you put in the prospecting conversation that cause people to want to follow up with you. And then, of course, down here is your ability to uh, answer questions, how to follow up, not be pushy, not be uh, salesy, that sort of thing. So fantastic concept. If you'll use it in your business, um, print out the PDF file when it's available. Keep it handy. You'll be able to pinpoint exactly where your blockages are. And I'll share this with you. You don't have to tweak things very much. Once you realize where your blockage is, sometimes... This little area right here, if there's a blockage between the prospecting conversation and how many people are going to the presentation or the webinar, sometimes changing one sentence in your prospecting conversation, sometimes adding one question to the prospecting conversation can cause this number to jump through the roof. So we're not talking like, you know, rocket science here. It's not, it's not long division. This is very simple stuff. But if you don't understand this, yeah, it can kind of seem like a big general problem. Ah, I'm not making money. I don't know what to do. So this will help you. Just pinpoint where in the process that you, uh, you deserve to put some attention. Make a couple of tweaks, and you can have the water running from here to here with a minimum of obstruction. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it for you. Have a great day. You absolutely deserve it.